Welcome friends to the Beaver Dam. Sorry if my throat's a little messed up. I was up late last night unlocking Grand Inquisitor with you guys. Um, I do want to go over this before Territory War ends because I kind of have a perfect opportunity here. So when it comes to Territory Wars, when it comes to Grand Arena, there's something called preloading and we never want to do it. And so what preloading is, is going in and fighting a battle and then not backing out before you lose. And so if you're about to lose, you want to back out or you want to have airplane mode on every time you go into a battle. What this prevents is not so much the whole battles going up, it'll still register as a battle gone, but it'll keep the other team from having any turn meter. And so we're pre-loading turn meter into the team. Because when the battle ends, if you didn't back out, or if you didn't have airplane mode on and then closed your game, what you're going to cause is that whatever turn meter they had when your characters died, they'll have that. And so you can end up having, especially with these things like Imperial Troopers that we have right here, you can end up with tons of turn meter pumped into this team and they'll just run circles around you. And so it can really be detrimental. And so for instance, this, this Imperial Trooper team right here, it's missing someone, yes, but it's going to be completely full of turn meter, which means I'm going to have to take in something really good against this. And so we'll kind of show you the difference of what it looks like. So we'll jump into this battle really quick. I've got my, uh, we'll, we'll reduce our, uh, our thing right, right now, just so you can see it. Uh, you can see here I've got airplane mode. Um, on your phone, you'll probably swipe down uh, from your notifications and be able to press put it in there. It depends on the phone, but find your airplane mode. It's super, super helpful because it makes it so that way you can decide whether or not you want to keep a battle. And so we'll jump in with just a team that we can take first turn. So that way we can see what happens. So this turn, this, uh, this team always starts with 100% turn meter. And so we'll just throw this in. Oh, someone already is engaging it. It's fine. We'll find another battle to show you guys. Um, I mean, it's not going to be another battle that we win, that's for sure. Uh, I was hoping that no one would take that battle. But yeah, let's, uh, let's jump in on this one. Okay, so you can see we have full turn meter because we have Iden Mercio and that's part of our ability. She gets 100% turn meter at the beginning. But you can see here that all of them have zero turn meter. And so if they'd been preloaded, they would have turn meter underneath these, uh, even though she gets 100%. So, you know, because she gets 100% at the beginning, they shouldn't have turn meter. But if you preloaded, if you went into the battle and then you didn't, uh, you know, keep it, you're going to have turn meter. And so we'll jump in here. I am going to turn on airplane mode just so that way we can, you know, back out if we need to. And so I'll show you kind of how that works. <clears throat> so we're going to watch them just take turn after turn. And you can see how much turn meter this, this team has. And so if we were to just leave it right there, do you see how much turn meter each person has? So basically, if the next person comes in against this, all of them are going to be at full turn meter and will all be able to take a turn before your guys takes a turn. On top of that, you're going to be ending up with, um, because they're a turn meter train uh, team, they're just going to keep rolling around in circles. And so I'm not going to turn off airplane mode because that'll finalize what's happening here. Basically, we're cutting the connection, and then as soon as we bring the connection back, the game registers whether we won or lost. And since we don't want the, uh, the loss to register, what we're going to do is we're just going to close out the app. And so now that we've closed out the app, we, are, we can now turn off airplane mode and it'll register as a loss, but they won't have that turn meter. And that's what's important to us. <clears throat> and so preloading can be one of the most detrimental thing, especially in territory wars where you're working together with your, uh, your guild. It can be so detrimental to what you guys are trying to do. It can take a team where I could have an easy counter to it, and all of a sudden my easy counter doesn't work because none of my guys go first. And if they get rolling before you get rolling, a lot of the times you lose. That's why speed is so key in this game. Sorry, I'm a little cold, so I'm a little shivery right now. It is quite cold in my apartment for some reason. 
Um, yeah. So, we're gonna jump into this battle. Yes, it's kind of gonna be a waste. My guild might get mad at me. Uh, but obviously, we showed you what it looks like with uh, no preloaded turn meter. We're gonna show you this battle right here where it's a partial. <clears throat> so, there's only four people, so that means obviously it's preloaded. So, we'll bring in our second team of people that have a turn at the very beginning just so that way we can show you guys uh what preloaded looks like um if we can get a couple people out i mean i'll take it i don't think we will but we'll, we'll try okay so as, as with before i'm gonna hit airplane mode you guys can't see it i have it on the right side of my screen so you can see airplane mode on right there. So I now have airplane mode on, but you can see here that it looks like Ray took a turn right before uh, the last person lost. But these guys still have preloaded turn meter. So currently it should be no one has turn meter. But because of this uh, preloading, because someone else went in before, there's all this turn meter right here. And so we're going to have them take a whole bunch of turns before we can take more turns in general luckily cls kind of changes that fact and that's why cls is one of the most helpful teams but still the fact that i have to throw a cls team at anything just because it's preloaded is a bad thing so what i'm trying to say is don't preload teams uh it's going to be detrimental to you it's going to be detrimental to your guild it's also going to be detrimental to you in grand arena uh i do want to get take a second and i want to talk about when you should leave a battle uh, the way that you should leave a battle is if you took out someone who is integral to the team. So if you're going up against a Darth Revan team and you're using bounty hunters and you, you know, disintegrate Darth Revan. At that point, I would probably leave it. You know, if you're going up against a CLS team and you take out Han and Chewie, keep it. Uh, it does take a little bit of thinking to decide whether or not it's worth keeping. If, like, you killed C-3PO, I'm like, don't keep it. I mean, the whole team is still kind of there. Uh, this this ray I honestly probably would have preferred being a full team, just because the preloading is a little rough. <clears throat> but you know we we deal with it. Sudden whirlwind. Who are we losing? Unfortunate, but it's fine. Um, so looking at the, sorry, I, I got distracted because I saw how much time we had and I was like, shiz, I need to get through this battle. So honestly, I probably wouldn't have kept this battle because it's just missing one person who's not very integral to the team. Like Finn's good, but not great. Um, but you know, if you were to get out JTR, get out Holdo, if you have the Holdo Kron, that kind of thing, I'm going to say keep it. But like, it's going to take some thinking to kind of think through, should I leave this or should I keep this? Uh, especially in your grand arena, if you're like looking at it and you're like, that's, that's a rough team. You know, a lot of the times backing out like this is probably your best option. Of course, if you have a turn, you can always back out using the pause menu. I will warn you, you can back out mid battle, like while people are doing stuff. But if your team gets wiped while you're waiting for it to load, you can still end up losing and having that turn meter preloaded. And so I do highly suggest the airplane mode. It's one of the best things that you can do. Another thing you can do if you catch it in time, instead of doing the pause menu, if you're like sitting there and you're like, oh shiz, oh shiz, uh, close down your app like this. Uh, however you do that in your game, like on your phone, close down your app like this and just close down the app. It immediately pauses right where it is and you can catch it in time a lot of the times. Uh, I'm going to keep this for the next person because I got rid of a couple people for them. And I'm going to say good luck to whoever goes in next. Uh, but that's basically what preloading is. As well as uh, like this right here. Uh, this is a terrible preload. 
um, because this is this looks like it's really good and like all of them are really close to death. But the thing is, they're going to spawn in their summon, and their summon will equalize health. And since none of them are dead, this is going to get really bad really quickly. Now, if they had killed Poggle off, then it would be like, okay, yeah, you know, this is going to be an easy clap. But now this is going to be a really, really hard battle to figure out. Like, I could take what... I don't think I really have much left, honestly. But whatever I take in, is it's just not going to work against this team right now. Uh, because all of them are going to have tons and tons of turn meter. Like, this is this is turned from a battle where I can take in a couple different teams to take it out into I'm going to have to waste a GL, I'm going to have to waste a really, really good team just to be able to get through this. So, <clears throat> when it comes to preloading, be very, very, very careful. Uh, you could end up shooting yourself in the foot and make, make sure you're thinking about team to team. Because, like, if this was a different team, if it was different than Geo's, uh, you know, I could come in with CLS and I could be like, oh yeah, I just pop, you know, whoever's important right at the beginning of the turn. That's, that's great. Uh, except the fact that this is the Poggle Quran, which means that they're going to revive once. And so I'm going to lose all of my progress that I put in at the beginning. So this is going to be a painful preload. So you got to keep in mind kind of what team you're going against, who you killed, uh, and then do you have something to clean it up? So do you have something like CLS that can take first turn? Do you have something that can, you know, uh, take advantage of where you're at with the team currently? If not, back out, close the app. If, if so, hit that airplane mode, turn it off, and then hit that try again button, and it'll save where you're at. So hopefully that helps you guys, and I know 100% it's going to help your guild. So when people mention preloading turn meter, this is what they mean. If you have any questions about this, feel free to throw it in the comments. Uh, I, I am happy to answer any questions that you guys have. Uh, if you have more in-depth questions, you want some more back and forth, hit me up in my Discord. The link is in the description. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.